with Guy Junker. I'm Ken Laird. Stillers 365 brought to you by Eastern H2O Guy in the Fox Chapel Plaza, a performance sports store featuring some of the great things like these reactor watches. I love this one. The best built performance sports watch, period. Mine's and, cooler than yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I get, I get a cooler band. I like my color, I like the brown, water resistant. You can go to uh, Eastern H2O if you get skis, snowboards, get them all waxed up, ready for the uh, mountains, which are open uh, in full swing. The Steelers' offseason is in full swing now after an 8 and 8 season. Team President Art Rooney II met the press yesterday, guy, and among uh, several things he said, he claimed it was everything we had hoped for, was the phrase that he had used when talking about his offense, in particular Todd Haley's offense this year, and really blamed. Ben's injury largely for derailing the season. Was Art correct? Uh, and, uh, you know, is he correct to th- kind of write the season off as basically if Ben had stayed healthy, they would have been in the playoffs? Well, I, I think that's true, but I also think that I, I would write the season off to injuries, period, not just the one. That's the most significant one. To me, the biggest, the most important thing that would happen yesterday was, unlike last year, you could smell changes were coming. You could tell he was angry. Um, the, uh, this, this, to me, is just an uh, analysis of the season. I don't expect sweeping changes to happen because he's not pleased with what was going on. And I, I said, basically what he said yesterday, last week after the final game, if you want to analyze what Todd Haley did and what Ben Roethlisberger did and whether this offense corrected some of the things they wanted to correct, you've got to look at it up until he got hurt. Um, when the offensive line was starting the same five guys in a row, they had three straight uh, games where the running game produced the way they wanted to. Ben was not getting hit the way he was in the past. He was getting rid of the ball. Not an ideal situation for Mike Wallace in a contract year when they didn't throw downfield as much, but the way they controlled the clock, uh, the way their third down production worked, uh, I think until Ben got hurt, uh, it did do what they wanted it to do. Which was dink and dunk, largely. But you're right, the running game was coming. Although, one thing Art Rooney did say yesterday, they've got to get the run game fixed. And it's pretty clear they've got a back to add, whether in the draft or in free agency. Uh, they've got to find a number one horse and, and hope that the line, you know, the young offensive line that they've got, will come together next year. Well, we had questioned here on this show, do they have a number one back in the stable right now? Yep. And they just have to have the guy emerge. Uh, based on what he said yesterday, they don't feel they do. So right. I think you'll have a new guy in there next year. Uh, certainly if Mendenhall leaves, could Dwyer be one? Well, if he stops asking for help after every time he carries the ball, perhaps. Uh, Redmond, I mean, everybody has their favorites in there, but uh, it was hard to judge those guys individually based on the way the rotation worked. None of them ever could really seem to get a rhythm going uh, based on the offensive line and everything else. But uh, based on what he said yesterday, yeah, that's going to be different. Todd Haley is interviewing or has interviewed now for the Arizona Cardinals job. Todd Haley's agent denied that it was happening to the NFL Network, uh, which was kind of strange. I read into it that Haley doesn't really want the job and never wanted the story to get out. Therefore, his agent was trying to deny that. But, of course, Art Rooney blew his cover. Uh, you know, what's your hunch? Will Haley be back? Yes, That's kind I of think my, he will be back. Yeah. I, I think, you know, he didn't leave Kansas City on the greatest terms. I mean, they let him go, and there was this stuff about his office being bugged. He's respected in Arizona, and I think he respects Arizona. I mean, this guy was their offensive coordinator. He yep. went, to, went to the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, another example of how much smarter you are as a coach when you have a world-class quarterback, if you consider Kurt Warner a world-class quarterback, and I do, yep. um, uh, you know, in, in his heyday or whatever. So whether he was just doing I – mean, maybe he will take the job. Maybe he at least want to explore it. But I think the mutual respect between the Cardinal organization and Haley caused this meeting to happen. And I, I think, and, and I think you might be right on there. What other reason would the agent have for denying that they're having the meeting? Um, you know, and then Omar Khan's now talking to the Jets, so there there could be some changes all over the place there too. And Omar's thirty six. <clears throat> Pardon me, he's a young guy. He's Ken, with all the coaching uh, openings in the NFL now. Omar Khan's interviewing for a general manager job. He might be the coach of Jacksonville by the time he's done. Who <laughs> he, knows? He might be. Yeah, I think the thing he's fighting is. Is he qualified enough as a personnel man to be a GM because he's known as such a dollars and cents type of guy and a negotiator? But I, I just knowing Omar, he's very talented. I, I would oh, imagine yeah. there's a real good chance he's gone. He'd be a big loss if he does go. Does he want to go to the Jets organization where I mean, he's used to working for you know a real 
uh, grounded, uh, you know, They'd make gr- get grassroots organization to, to one that always just seems to be on the cutting edge of controversy. <laughs> do you want to you want to go do that? You know, he, he, he did interview for these kind of jobs in the past. Uh, last year, I believe the Rams asked him if they could talk to him, and he, he didn't want to talk to them. So uh, I, I think that's a good – I think Omar's smart enough to know that – He's great at what he does. He probably would like the challenge of moving up another step, but what if you move up another step and it doesn't work out? It's got to be the right situation. So uh, I can understand why he's got a tough decision there if he's even offered the job. Keep it to TribLive.com for all the latest with the Steelers in the offseason. For Guy Junker, I'm Ken Laird. Brought to you by Ah. Eastern H2. I check my reactor watch.